Okay, dear students, now we are going to study another parts of Thales section. What is that? Thales theorem in parallel lines. In the previous, you studied in triangle, but now we are going to study in parallel lines. How? Let's get this off. Two transversal intersected. Two transversal. There are two lines. They are called transversal. Intersected. Okay? By what? By three or more parallel lines. How many parallel lines do we have? L3, L4, and L5. Or you can have more parallel lines. Two transversal lines. Okay? Intersected. Intersected in here. Okay? By two, by three, by three or more parallel lines. What happens? They are divided into proportional parts as triangle. But in here we have A, B, C, intersected parts. D, E, F, intersected parts. Okay, what happens? A, B over what? B, C, A, B over B, C, and here you see, is equal D E over E F. This is tallest theorem in parallel lines. Very simple. Okay, if I have an example, let's look at example. I have in here the value of x that I should find it. x, 3, 7, 6. By tallest theorem in parallel lines, I can find this x very simple. Okay, how? X over 7. I can write find X. From what? Figure. Okay, X over 7 is equal to what? 3 over 6. Can I multiply both sides by 7? Yes. Okay, 7 will be cancelled by 7. What is the answer? x equal to 7 multiple 3 or 7 times 3 is 21 divided by 6. This is the answer. If it was possible to simplify, okay. If otherwise, this is the answer for x.